What is up, YouTube? It's Jimmy here, back with another video. I'm going to go ahead and get you started with the NFL playoffs prediction. And this is for Wild Card Weekend. We have some good matchups, actually, I think. The first one we're going to go ahead and go with is the Steelers at the Bengals. And I'm going to go ahead and go Steelers. I don't think the Bengals can score enough points. And I think just the offense for the Steelers is just too explosive for the Bengals. I do think it will be a close game. And I do think having A.J. McCarron will actually be a bonus for the Bengals as uh, Andy Dalton can't play in the playoffs. Like, I know I know people are like, oh, he can't play in the playoffs. It's true. Like, he just – and then they put it at a primetime game too. Like, if you just look at the stats, he just does not play well in primetime games. I don't know if it's the pressure. I don't know what it is. But I just don't see them winning that game. I see it being close, and I see there being a chance. So, I mean, I can see them winning – but I just think the Steelers, they just have too much talent on offense. So I'm going to have to go with the Steelers on that one. Kansas City at Houston. Yeah, Houston. Um, I'm going with the Chiefs, man. Low key, I'm picking the Chiefs to go all the way. I'm going to save my predictions for later for the whole thing. I'll probably make another video separate on that. But I'm picking the Chiefs, man. I believe in the Chiefs. I like what they do in um, big playoff games. You can't turn the ball over. And Alex Smith just does not turn the ball over. And honestly, I think them losing Jamal Charles is probably the best thing that could happen. Because before Jamal Charles got hurt, I feel like they were just extremely scared to throw the ball downfield. And now they just seem to be throwing it at ease. I mean, Jeremy Macklin's going in. Kelsey's going in. I don't know who else they have on that team, but they're just clicking right now. They've won, what, 10 straight? And they have a really good defense. They have two good, uh, two good corners in Sean Smith and rookie Marcus Peters, who I think is the best corner in the league right now. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but if you go look at the stats, he leads the league in interceptions. He leads the league in interceptions, return for touchdowns, and I think um, defended balls or something. I'm not sure. I don't know about all the stats. I think he has like seven interceptions on the season, and three or four he took for a touchdown. So that's that's why I'm picking them, and I feel like they can go really deep in the playoffs. We'll go ahead and jump into the NFC side where we got Seattle at Minnesota. I think Minnesota messed up last week. I don't think they should have beat the Packers just for the fact that you would have had to play them again. You know you can beat the Packers because the Packers, their their receivers are just non-existent. Like other than um, uh, Jones, and he's mad old, so like he's not gonna be getting open like that. But other than Jones, they really don't have a whole lot. So the the um I think the uh, Vikings kind of effed up when they um went ahead and beat the Packers because now they get to face the team that just stomped them out, and that team just got done stomping out probably who I thought was the best team in the NFL. Like, they went to Arizona and just gave Arizona the whole full and nothing but entire dick, bro. So, I'm picking the Card I'm not Cardinals. I'm picking Seattle in this one. I just don't think, I don't know, maybe it's just something with Seattle. They've been playing crazy since Jimmy Graham got hurt. That dude, Russell Wilson, is just throwing dots everywhere. I just don't see Seattle um, losing this game. And then we have what I think is probably the, the most, like, the weirdest game of them all. And that's Green Bay at the uh, Redskins. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like, I really would just rather leave this one a blank. But because I don't really know, like, I don't know if I could trust the Redskins. I don't know about the Packers. Like, I just don't know who the Packers are. Like, one game they'll go out and they'll just get, I mean, the last couple games, they've just been getting pounded physically. Like, Aaron Rodgers is getting hit every play. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I guess I'm going to go... I don't want to go with the Redskins because I don't really believe in them. Not Nothing against Kirk Cousins and them. They're just too young. I think the stage is too big for them. But I don't know because the Packers offensively is the problem. Like, they have no identity on offense whatsoever. Eddie Lacy, he looks like he's, he, yo, he just needs to lose some damn weight, bro. Dude is straight fat as F. He can't, ba he can barely get out of the backfield. Like, I don't know. Like, they're just so confusing like it's just hurting my head right now thinking about this game not that it's not gonna be a good game I, I think it's gonna I think all of these games gonna be good games but I just don't know like I don't know who to pick on this one um I guess I'll go I guess I'll go Packers just because I trust them a little bit more than I trust the Redskins but I definitely wouldn't bet on this game I don't know it could go either way it's probably the closest matchup of all of them just for the fact that we don't know who the Packers are and we don't know if we can trust the Redskins like I feel like Kirk Cousins is going to do his thing. He's going to put his team in a position to win. I don't really know about that defense. They, they've they been up and down all year. Um, and the Packers, offensively, they struggle. Defensively, they do all right. I mean, they do 
they do good enough. Like, this is a better defense than we give them credit for. You got Clay Matthews and Julius Peppers and Ha Ha Clinton Dix and Morgan Burnett. I mean, you got some good players on that team. But I just don't – I don't know. Offensively, they struggle, and especially on the road, I think that's going to hurt them. But hopefully if their defense shows up to play, they should be able to beat the Redskins, I think. So I'm going to pick the Packers in this one just because I just don't really trust the Redskins, particularly the Redskins' defense. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to let me know your predictions down below. I'll be sure to read all of them and respond to them if I can. But hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, Jay Mutt. Like, comment, and subscribe for future Madden 16 content. And until next time, guys, I'm signing out. Peace.